We're at the start of a new era, folks. The world has finally come of age when it comes to internet capabilities. And while you still have to wait for further news, here's why the future of Web5 is already here. If you're new here, this video is produced by Harsimar, made by Alex, and voiced by Joel. And on Eat the Blocks, we help Web3 developers transition into Web5? The internet served static web pages in days of Web 1.0 and evolved into doing dynamic content and interactions on the web. This evolution of the internet brought in the buzzword Web 2 by Darcy Danucci. But that wasn't all. It continued evolving further, and a groundbreaking technology took birth, which you're already aware of, blockchain. With a combination of decentralization, this technology brought so much attention to developers and investors. They started calling it Web3 and even converted their jobs to full-time Web3 developers. Mainly, Web3 was about decentralization, security, and blockchain. Now, since we didn't even blink an eye after Web3, Jack Dorsey, the former CEO of Twitter and The Blockhead, thought of taking it further by launching Web5. They have an alternative version for the web. Why? Well, they wanted to make the internet decentralized. But wait a minute, isn't Web3 supposed to be doing that already? Um, yes, kind of, but giant whales and limited partners control it. And technologies like Solana, Ethereum, and others might be lying about who's behind the wheel. It's tough to escape their incentives. What Jack is saying about Web5 is that it's extra decentralized. By the way, Jack Dorsey's had an adverse reaction to free speech and shutting people's voices. It raises questions about him talking about open source and decentralization. So where exactly is Web4? Simply, they skipped the V4 as they believed it to be a combination of Web2 and Web3. Web5 is mainly about ownership, which was missing in Web3. It's layered over Bitcoin's Lightning Network protocol. Web5 will give us enhanced security, data privacy, and decentralized identity, which may not be possible in the current Web3. Besides that, there won't be any new tokens in Web5. Mike Brock says that they won't be developing the platform and then open sourcing it. Instead, they'll keep everything public from day one for true decentralization. Decentralized identifiers, also known as DID, is a component of Web5 which will support it in creating a decentralized digital identity. It could refer to a subject like a person or an organization. This could enhance the user experience for moving between applications without having to authorize yourself. Other components like verifiable credentials and decentralized web nodes also play an extensive role in Web5. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned as we'll be discussing these in detail in another video. Despite so much pullback for Web5, there should always be an unobstructed space for innovation. Web5 could be an excellent enhancement to decentralization. Currently, Web3 already has enough trust in the market, but who knows if this could be a game changer. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to visit Snoop Dogg's Web6.